we can indeed have a chat about the herd structure. But before we get into that, please all help me. Is this the short trunk elephant cow and her calf? Well, I don't think we've seen them for many for many, many moons now, but now she's ch chosen to disappear into the thicket. But she is missing the tip of her trunk, and there is only four of them here. She looks like she's got an older daughter and then a younger bull too. And then, of course, this little one that is not getting left behind. And if you perhaps do know, I don't know if we're going to, unfortunately, get a better view of that elephant now. But here's one of the other youngsters just crossing the road in front of us. But you can maybe let me know if you thought from that quick glimpse. You can hashtag Safari Live if you thought it was perhaps the tr short trunk elephant and her little family. We'll carry on. We'll go about down a bit further. It was actually quite a nice surprise stumbling upon them while we've been searching for lion tracks. Hi, little one. I'm so happy. I've had another game drive filled with elephants today. Here we go. Another little bottom to look at. It's so peaceful out here that I could just sit so quietly. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. Let's just take a moment to listen to this elephant feeding. Isn't that lovely just to hear the grass moving between the elephant's feet? And the guari bush, as it rubs itself against it, the nice rustling of those leaves. And that tree that moving it is moving at the back is not because of the wind, but it's because the youngest elephant of this herd is just there. There you go. You can just see it. Oh, lovely. That was fantastic, a short but sweet sighting. They've now disappeared into the bushes. Let's go a bit further forward, because the road does curve, so we might actually be able to look back towards them. <laughs> now, Brian, you've said that it's crazy. Ah, oh, there's more, never mind. There's a whole herd of elephants in front of us. We don't have to worry about those ones disappearing. Even little tiny babies who at Buffles look damn, by the way. Um, so, Brian, so your, your question was, it's amazing how camouflaged elephants are. And you say camouflage must be that of a tree of the bark. I think you're spot on. I'm going to go forward. You can see those bones that we just passed that were from a buffalo that passed away in the dam. Hello, elephants. Good morning, my favorite animals of the African wilderness. I'm just going to keep rolling. Hello, little one. The reason why is because they're not agitated with me. But I'll just go in as quietly as I can cause so you can see the rest of the herd because there's a whole lot of them here. Hello. It's okay, little girl. Yes. You're smelling me. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm just your friend. You don't mind me, you carry on eating from that torchwood tree. That's what it's feeding off of. It's, it's a very small dwarfed torf, uh, torchwood tree, and you can see exactly why, or balanites, as they're also known as, because the elephants like to eat them. And I don't know if this one's got a good chance at reaching the height that a big torchwood tree can actually get to if they keep stunting its growth like this. But of course elephants need to eat too, so we can't complain too much. Sorry, tree, you'll just have to sacrifice yourself. But there's a whole lot of them. Hello, girls. I just, and of course, if you have just started watching and you are new to Safari Live, I talk to all the animals. We love to talk to them, especially the elephants. I think it's good to make yourself known when you are here, not to try and hide away from them. And hopefully they'll feed off of my positive energy and excitement because I absolutely love elephants. I'm actually going to go forward again. I'm going to just start the car. No. Relax. It's still me. There's a little one. Now I'm, going, I'm not going to say this name correctly. I can tell you right now. F-Q-R... <laughs> you... <laughs> F, oh Lisa, F, there we go, that was the end word there, got it now, um, so you're wondering how, you, well, you were actually thinking to yourself, I wonder how many of these elephants are pregnant, which is a very, very, uh, well, good thing to think of, it's almost, 
quite difficult to try and spot the elephants that do have calves developing inside them. But what you can use is you find a cow and see how many youngsters she's got. Look for suckle marks on the mammary gland, not necessarily suckle marks, but just sort of wet patches where the little ones have been uh, drinking from. Uh, oh, hang on, who's shoving and pushing each other here just to the left of us? Yeah, let's have a look at them. Well, it's difficult to see, but there's two elephants that are pushing each other around. I can't tell you if they are males or if it is one female and a male. Because often, when you're with a breeding herd like this, you'll get a rowdy male that will come through and then needs to be pushed into line by an adult cow. I cannot see, though. I think, I think it is a big cow on the left. And I think that the one on the right, yeah, yes, that's exactly what's happening. It's a bull on the right-hand side that is now challenging most likely the matriarch. Hang on, hello girl. We've just got lots of elephants now surrounding us, so I'm going to move out of the way. It's okay, big girl, I'll give you room. There's just another ca little cow. They're all getting a little bit nervous now. You can see it's okay. We're not the problem here, madam. It's that boisterous bull over there that is causing all the disruptions amongst the herd. So please do not take your frustrations out on me this morning. It's okay. I will protect your little calf too, I promise. I love them too much not to. But what's, what's happening, we'll just watch these guys at the moment, is that there's a young bull that's come into the herd and he is very boisterous. He is now pushing and shoving one of the bigger cows around, which is a bit risky because if she wanted to, she could do qu quite a bit of damage to him. Yes, sort him out. Tell him to go on his way and to never come back again. He's too young. And that's the problem, and that's why these boys get kicked out, is they, they bring it upon themselves, because you do something like this. Hello, girl. Don't give up. Stand your ground. You can see she's turning around to face him again. Ears flared out. She's not happy. She hasn't made much noise. She keeps putting her trunk in her mouth, too. She's very unhappy with this bull. Hello, girl. Do you want me to move some more? I can move some more for you. I'm just, I'm trying to keep tabs on all the elephants here. Let me do that. I think we're going to have to do a bit of repositioning. I don't want to get stuck in between these elephants. So I'm going to, let me, can I go this way? Hello, girl. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I know I'm going to go down here. I promise. Sorry, young lady. I to apologize. I didn't mean to do that. I promise you. <laughs> she looks concerned. That elephant behind us. She, um, I think she's a little bit worried about what was going on with the pushing and shoving. It was most likely the big matriarch that, that I said that was trying to teach that young man a lesson and teach him some manners because he clearly was lacking them. But now the problem is you don't want to get too absorbed in a sighting like this because if you forget watching and you forget watching around yourself you, you you're going to get yourself into trouble you're going to get stuck in amongst some angry cars and that's of course the last thing we want to do we're going to try and find a safe good spot to view these elephants from i'm going to send you back across to the bushwalk team i didn't quite hear what he has but i'm sure james will tell you